Here's my um, Nakamichi RX202. It's a unidirectional auto reverse cassette deck made by Nakamichi. I think they started in the early 80s and can continue this on until the 90s, I think. Um, it's a nice deck. The sound that the Nakamichi is known for their cassettes and the sound is very good. Play a little bit. It's a very nice sounding deck. It has quite a lot of features in it, but the features are all essential features. It has your power button up here, over here on the top. Underneath it, it's your timer. In other words, that the timer you can have to automatically start to record or automatically start and play. If you switch it onto one of these and you rewind, as soon as the rewind was finishing, it'll go into play. Or if you haven't record, it'll go on to record. Your headphone jack is down here on the bottom. It has four large buttons down from the top to bottom over here on the left-hand side. Um, it's one button does two feet functions. This is fast forward over on this side and rewind on that side. So pressing rewind, you get your tape to rewind, stop, fast forward, it fast forwards. Same with stop play, stop on one side and then play on the other side. Pause and record, it's on share a button and your master fader, if you want to fade up or fade down, I have it on fade up at the moment, it will um, accomplish that. Your counter, um, something about the Nakamichi, uh, I'm big on lights. It has this really dim red light. It's hard to see, but I prefer to listen to my music at night with dim lighting anyway. And I like it that these lights aren't too bright and distracting, which they aren't. So both the peak meter lights over here on this side and the counter lights are a, a, a low, uh, not too bright uh, red, almost orange red, which is, I think is quite nice. And your reset button brings your counter back to zero. It has a memory function for stop or play. It has an auto reverse, meaning that the tape would uh, reverse when it's finished playing on one side and automatically play on the other and it has your record mute button here. Over here on this side, you have your master output. It's a slider and your record levels are over here, both left and right on this side here. Then you have your tape selectors here and you have what's called ZX4, SX1, EX1. I think these are um, pretty much specific with Nakamichi. I've seen them on Nakamichi decks, but I haven't seen them anywhere else. Then your equalizer, for your 120 tape or your first one at sorry at 120 or 70 or in your MPX filter, which is nice to have as well. Then this has Dobly B and C or off, and your record standby, your reverse button, playing it to reverse. There is some adjustments I need to do inside, probably needs a new belt. When I press the reverse button, this pops out, and then this tape on this transport here is supposed to flip around to the other side, but it doesn't on this one. So I'm going to have to sort out why that is. And then your ejector load buttons up here on the top. These are nice decks. They fetch a pretty good price um, because they're well made and they sound good. So the price that they ask for is typically worth it as long as it's not astronomical. Um, again, if you see a Nakamichi uh, deck, all of them are good. Uh, this RX202 is very good. I think you can get the RX101 and I think they go up higher. I'm not sure that the top number, but they do go up higher than the 202 as well. It's a two headed uh, deck, um, meaning that um, uh, one heads for um, record, and the other heads for play, and you don't have the third deck to listen to the play as it's being recorded. Not too much of a big deal, but sometimes it's nice to have that third head. Thanks for watching.